I work in research, helping to develop the next generation of diesel engines. We'll follow these down the production line. They'll burn less fuel, reduce fewer emissions and have greater power densities, just as these did for their predecessors. But research and development doesn't happen in isolation. Anything we develop in the test lab has to be something we can build down the production line here. Let me give you an example of how technology and manufacturing move together. Engine, you can just about see the top of six injectors, one for each cylinder, much like this. The fuel enters the injector here at about 200 megapascals. That's about the same pressure as 5,000 two-ton elephants standing on top of you. It's then actuated on the solenoid up here, which allows the fuel to enter the cylinder through six holes, which are really tiny, about the size of a human hair. This combined with the high pressure means the fuel enters the cylinder as a really fine mist. This means the fuel burns more efficiently and therefore we produce less emissions. But with the small hole and high pressures, there's really tight tolerances within the injector. So the fuel entering it has to be free of debris. Which on the final engine isn't an issue as we have a system of filters to remove it. But first we have to build the engine. We're getting ready to go into the clean room. Not something you'd expect to find in a diesel engine factory, but this facility is crucial. This room is pressurised such that there is no flow of air from the outside other than through the filtration and scrubbers. They ensure that there is no more than 30,000 particles above five micron per cubic metre of air. That may sound like a lot, but in an office environment there's up to 35 million. So in here, we can as confidently assemble the fuel system knowing we're not introducing any contaminants. The point to this, to design efficient engines, we need new technology, but there's no point if we can't build it. This clean room is a good example of how a manufacturing facility is allowing us to make better design decisions.